IPS stands for Intrusion Detection System, and IPS, of course, stands for Intrusion Prevention System. Let's pick them one by one, and we'll first start with IDS. Now, what is the first thing that comes in your mind when you think of the word IDS? It's got the word detection in it, okay? So keep that in mind. If you see the IDS device at this point of time is connected outside, which is probably also, you can say, in parallel to your switches or in parallel to your router okay you can also log these network captures what's happening in your environment to a logging solution as well like a seam or a logging monitoring systems like zabex hope that is clear so what's supposed of what you're supposed to understand from this diagram is that the intrusion detection device doesn't do anything in the network apart from just sniffing on a span port sniffing all the traffic where it's placed or all the logs are coming into the intrusion detection device and then it is logging onto a logging solution or sending its threat intel to a different environment. So that is basically IDS. It's just de detection. If it sees something, it'll detect it but wouldn't take any action on it. It'll just say, hey, I saw something. Probably it's worth looking into or if it is interesting, maybe you should investigate further on it. So it just detects and doesn't do anything else apart from that okay also keep in mind that the intrusion detection it just cannot uh, it just can't be just deployed on the network uh, it can also be deployed at a user's machine as well so it can either be a network based device or a host based software solution device okay now let's take our IPS device that is intrusion prevention system we bring up our regular corporate network you got your outside world internet router, the IDS uh, IPS appliance, and your firewall. But I'll make it really slow for you, the transition, and see what happens now. You'd see that this time the IPS device is placed in line, okay? So that's the key word you should be mentioning when you try to explain the IPS device. It's an inline device, so all the traffic uh, on, on a simple network will go through the device. There are many advantages to this. First of all, since it's inline, it'll be able to see any anomalous activity. And if you've configured your IPS device right, it should be able to block the uh, malicious actions by bad actors, threat actors. Okay. And it's only then that it allows, it is allowed to come into your router and then your firewall, the network. And just like IDS, the user is, uh, this machine is also capable of having a host-based IPS intrusion prevention system. So as the name suggests, it just it just doesn't detect. It also has the ability to prevent any attacks as well. Uh, there are some differences between IDS, IPS, and how they work. And what are the types of IDS and IPSs? Okay, let's go through them one by one. We'll pick the types of IDS and IPS I laid down in a table over here. Let's begin with first IDS. So IDS, uh, the first one is network-based IDS. So as we saw in the previous diagram, it's a network-based IDS is placed just in the network. It's only able to detect and then doesn't do anything else. It detects forwards the packet to an intelligent solution. It's up to the end user to determine whether what should what should be done or what should be action on that packet that has been received. Next, host-based IDS. Now, this is the software solution that is getting applied on a system. So a host-based IDS is a software solution installed on the package. Now, it pretty much does the same thing that it detects and then the logs can be forwarded to a different system. Uh, logging solution so that intelligence decisions can be taken based on the logs. Protocol based IDS. Now protocol based IDS is pretty rare to come by but then it, as the name says protocol so if there isn't some kind of inconsistency on the protocols that it sees or some unknown protocols are getting 
uh, seen on the network or on the device, it should be able to kiss through us through an alert saying that, hey, uh, an unknown uh, port has been seen on the network and it's been getting utilized. Now, keep in, also, keep in mind that the IDS device is usually faster than the IPS because of the network latency uh, that happens because an IPS device is again placed in line. Okay, IPS, the type of IPS again, network based IPS as shown in the previous diagram it is an inline device so it is placed in in line on the device so of course there would be some kind of a hit that uh, the packets would take when it travels through a device the device would scan for protocols or application layer uh, attacks howsoever you have configured and how sensitive you've made it um, host um, based IPS so this is something that you would find very common and it is installed as alongside with your antivirus solutions so if you've got say for example um, a web root or McAfee uh, AV solution itch and if your endpoint device if you're subscribed to an IPS based then host based IPS solution so probably it would sit along that side um, and it would continuously monitor and also take preventative action if a de intrusion is detected again just like network based IDS, host based IDS also takes a hit on system resources. Okay, and then the last one you've got uh, net network behavior analysis. So it just examines uh, network uh, traffic to identify threats that generate outside your usual traffic flows, such as you know distributed denial of uh, service attacks and specific forms of malware or policy violation attacks. Now, what are the key differences differences between IDS and an IPS? Let's start with IDS first. The IDS it uh, works on signature basis, uh, which means the signature base or uh, a type of updates that are you receive from your vendor on a daily or sometimes uh, multiple times a day basis. So these are signatures or these are specific patterns that an IDS device looks for and then alerts uh, the system or that forwards the logs to an alerting mechanism, uh, alerting solution. Anomaly based method. This is a bit more advanced uh, kind of uh, solution that IDS does but then it also has an I remember IDS uh, can also be converted as an IPS so IDS also has uh, has the capability or to act as an IPS also it also has an IPS engine inside it that looks for any anomalous activity but then of course the main uh, primary reason you deploy it as an IDS is because you do not want it to stop any traffic let it flow you know you still study the patterns and then probably go ahead and at a later stage deploy it as an IPS device. So it's looking for those anomalous activity, probably a suspicious protocol or IP address talking too much or IP or protocol is being abused or a different country or, or, or any of your systems are talking to a the different organization or different country that can be flagged. Now IPS, again, it's it works on signature basis, which means your vendor would release signatures for it and based on those signatures some intelligence can be drawn on how to stop or prevent the traffic from flowing next statistical anomaly based detection so since it's right now deployed as an inline IPS device it has the capability to stop the traffic so if it sees any traffic that is out of normal or anomalous it will go ahead and stop it and of course you should be logged it to a centralized logging solution like a theme solution and to so that you can grab that intelligence and have make it an in, informed decision based on what was stopped and the last one is of course stateful protocol analysis or detection so this one is uh, again pretty rare to come by but then what it does is the IDS uh, which is built in inside the IPS device it recognizes for any deviations of protocols and it is compared
comparing with the observed events or any baselines that it might have had formed inside the device and it will then take a decision what if it's generally accepted to have that kind of volume of traffic or that suspicious traffic whether to allow it or to consider it benign now, since IPS is the one that'll get most attention wherever you go so I'll do a quick comparison of IPS with IDS all right uh, starting with the first one an IPS system is an inline device which is able to actively prevent or block intrusions uh, that are getting detected so the keyword here is inline it's placed in between the network and it's able to take actions by blocking the malicious connections second IPS can take actions such as sending an alarm dropping detected malicious packets resetting a connection or blocking traffic from an offending IP address that's pretty much clear and the third and the last one being the IPS device can correct uh, CRC the cyclic redundancy checks it can uh, uh, defragment uh, packet streams uh, mitigate TCP sequencing issues and also clean up any unwanted transport or network layer options so IPS overall is a pretty powerful device in itself now this alone is a video is not sufficient for your knowledge uh, to get the difference between IDS and an IPS you should of course refer other sources of knowledge as well I'll certainly link them down below all right and with that I'll end the video for IDS and IPS your comments and suggestions will be more welcome uh, share this video with your family and friends whosoever can benefit from this video all right bye now